What is up, guys? It is your boy King Beam, aka Spider Man No Way Home, is my new favorite Marvel movie. And today, I'm gonna just cut right to the chase. We're gonna be talking about Spider Man No Way Home. I just saw the movie, like, I don't know, five hours ago, and just got home. And I, I need to talk about this movie because this movie was so amazing now um before I, before i went and saw it i saw a lot of people saying oh best marvel movie ever 10 out of 10 and i was like yeah you know i wasn't really feeding into the hype but like this movie this movie is freaking amazing and for a good hour of my life i thought it was better than spider-verse but spider-verse will always be the best spider-man movie ever but anyway let me get into the review so um i'm gonna just start with the villains um a big 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 part for me about big big thing for me about the movie i didn't want the villains to just be there for just like fan service and i didn't want their arcs to be ruined because they all went through great character arcs in their own respective movies and i didn't want them to like be ruined in this movie and it was nothing like that it was, they were not ruined at all they weren't just there for fan service i mean the lizard was just there to be there, I guess, and Sandman was just there to say that he wanted to see his daughter, but, um, Goblin, Octopus, and, uh, Electro, they, they were incredible, man. Jamie Foxx, he just brought this sort of, like, swag to the Electro character that he didn't have in the Amazing Spider-Man 2, and it was really, really good, and he had this really great character arc of, like, you know, he kind of, sort of wanted to, like, change and be a good guy, but, like, no he, he he really wanted power he want he wanted to be different he wanted to feel that power he didn't want to be weak again and then dr octopus he um he he was cool he didn't have like this like big character moment or anything but like they they served his character well and um yeah he did a really good job he's i mean that's all i gotta say about him he was he was really good in his role but willem dafoe as the goblin oh my gosh willem dafoe as the goblin was freaking amazing man he brought he I, you could tell he was having so much fun like because at the at the at the beginning he was like um he was trying he was at the beginning he was he was norman but then he like switched to the goblin and then once he switched to the goblin oh my goodness he was sorry my dog's making noise in the background if you hear that anyway 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 goblin he was freaking incredible he has this fight with um tom holland in the middle of the movie and tom holland's just like punching him in the face and then like he's enjoying it like he he gets punched then he's smiling at him and then it's like oh it was so good and then um i, I forgot to say like spoilers ahead but you know if you haven't guessed right now this is a spoiler review i'm gonna continue um then after he has that fight with um tom he kills aunt may and that's another thing I want to talk about. This movie does a great job with Peter Parker. Like, I know we could tell by the um by the trailer that Spider-Man he was gonna ask Doctor Strange to do the whole like reversal thing because he didn't want people to know that he was Spider-Man anymore. But I mean, the stakes were really high when people found out he was Spider-Man. I wasn't expecting them to like really dive this deep and be like be this dark of a movie about the consequences of people knowing he was Spider-Man. Like from the get-go, I mean, everybody was like swarming his house. He couldn't go anywhere. Everybody knew who he was. I mean, and then like the big thing about it, he, um, him, Ned, and MJ, they applied to MIT. And then they wouldn't let Ned and MJ into um, MIT because they were associated with him. And that's the main reason he wanted everybody to forget because he wanted to help out his friends. And then he did, you know, the whole multiverse thing. And, you know, he just ruined everything. And then because of that, um, the villains came through. And then initially, he didn't want to send them home because, I mean, that's who Peter is. He didn't want to just send them back to the universe so they could die. He wanted to try to, like, rehabilitate him really rehabilitate them and then after that fails that's the reason aunt may dies and i mean before she dies she gives him a really powerful with great power comes great responsibility speech and it was really really good and then there's that one scene where he's just sitting at the top of the building and i i've seen i saw the picture of it before i saw the movie and i really like that picture but like that it means so much to me now because he was sitting up there just like angry because he felt like it was it was his fault that aunt may died it was it's his fault that all this bad stuff is happening to him 
and like i really love this because i mean that's why we all love spider-man 2 because peter parker's life sucked but he still had to get up and be spider-man and they did the same thing here he's i mean it's his his fault his friend's life sucks and aunt may died but i mean life was hard for him but he just had to get up and be spider-man and speaking of spider-man i can't talk about spider-man without talking about my boys andrew garfield and toby mcguire yes i knew i already knew that they were going to be in the movie because i remember that one trailer came out and um spider-man he was like jumping towards all the um, um the enemies the villains in the movie and then you could see the lizard his face kind of like raw like moved to the side and i was like hmm you know i'm 90 percent sure that they just edited out the other spider-man in that scene and i was freaking right i was right all along i felt good about it i mean the moment the moment because i'm I, I recorded a video about why andrew garfield's my favorite spider-man it was supposed to come out a while ago but it didn't but it's gonna come out like next week anyway andrew garfield's my favorite spider-man right and then when ned opened that portal and i saw andrew garfield i was i was so visibly happy sitting in that theater i was ecstatic andrew garfield really stole the show for me because he's literally like he's so accurate he's such a great peter parker and such a great spider-man i mean the way he's like he has his quips his quipping ability is just so great. It's all about the clips for me. Andrew Garfield is great. And then he has these um these little moments when he's talking about Gwen. And Andrew Garfield just brings so much life to this character. Because when Spider-Man was sitting up there and he was like, you know, you guys know how I'm feeling. Like, Andrew, he started talking about how he lost Gwen. And he like he's like tearing up about the cry. And you could really feel the emotion in that scene. And then another thing I called... I said it when when MJ was falling. See, I thought that that was going to be the moment that Andrew was going to like come in from the multiverse while MJ was falling and then save her life because like to get redemption because he couldn't save Gwen. But he I mean, he he didn't jump in from the multiverse that happened, but he still saved um, MJ. I called it anyway. Excellent scene. Tom Holland misses the catch. He fails to save Zendaya. I know I could have. But then Andrew Garfield has to swoop in and save MJ. And then he's like about to cry because like, you know, that scene, man, that scene in Amazing Spider-Man 2, that is a terrible movie. But that is one of my favorite scenes in any superhero movie of all time. That is amazing scene. And he starts to tear up because like, you know, he couldn't save his girl, but at least he saved MJ. And Tobey Maguire, I don't know. There's just something about his Spider-Man. It's just so comic booky, you know, he's just like a little... A little nerd peter parker -y man i don't i don't know how to describe it but he's just he's great he's a great guy i love toby mcguire man he he did his thing out there and i love how toby and andrew they weren't in the whole entire movie and they only showed up at the end but it didn't feel like they were just there for fan service they really like served they they had they had a part in the plot they they had a purpose that's what they, they served a purpose within the plot and they were like making you know devices to stop the villains and i like how the three of them had so much chemistry and you can tell andrew garfield was having the time of his life out there because you know he's he had been wanting to be spider-man his whole life and then like to be with because i remember he's he did an interview a while back talking about how he loved Tony mcguire's spider-man and for him to be in the same movie with Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man, like, I could tell he was having a whole bunch of fun. And they had this little moment where, like, all the Peters, they're just having a little bro talk about how Tobey, he has organic webbing com coming out of his hands. And, like, um, Tom and Andrew, they're like, what, how do, how do you do that? And it's just, it's just really good. Like, I, I don't know. I just love it. They had a little Peter, Peter bro moment. And they... I, I mean, I, keep, I know I keep saying it, but I just love how they just weren't here for fan service. They served an actual purpose in the plot, and it was amazing. Um, I don't know. I've been rambling on and on, but um, I just, I really, really love this movie, man. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It is incredible. I mean, there's other small things that I love about this movie, like the, the dynamic between um, Peter, Ned, and MJ. It's really good. The moments with Peter and MJ are excellent. Um, they did this thing in this movie with the spider sense where they like zoom in on Peter's face and then everything starts to, like Like the audio muffles around him and you can tell like the spidey sense is like activating like 
I really love that a lot. Um, that fight between um, Peter and Doctor Strange, when Peter realized that the mirror universe was just geometry and he starts doing math equations to stop Doctor Strange, that was incredible. Um, yeah, I just had to get on here and give my initial thoughts because I had a whole bunch to say. This is easily my new favorite Marvel movie. Um, Merry Christmas, by the way. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna release this movie, um, not movie, I'm gonna release this video on Christmas, but if you're still here, Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be posting more regularly, hopefully soon. So, like I said, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, fantastic holiday season. Um, please go watch this movie. It's great. Yeah. Have a great day. Peace out.